Hi, welcome to Chapter Two, Part Three of Class Six History NCERT Textbook. I hope you have watched the Part One and Two of this chapter. If you haven't, then I will put the link in the description below. Please go and watch them first. So let's start. Now we know that as early human eventually turned into a farmer and herder, he moved towards a settled life. That means he started to live in houses or huts instead of living in the caves. We found that in Burza home, which is located in present-day Kashmir, he made pit houses, which were dug into the ground so that he could live there and protect himself from the chilly winters. As the deeper you go into the earth's surface, the hotter it gets. We also found the cooking hearth both inside and outside their houses because there was no fixed place to cook. It all depended on weather. If it was raining, they would cook inside, but if the weather was pleasant, they would cook outside. Now talking about the tools, of course, with the passage of time, their tools got better and better. But that does not mean they stopped using the old ones. For example, by the Neolithic times, they even started to polish their stone tools to give it a fine cutting edge. Similarly, some tools were common and were discovered at many places. One of them is mortar and pestle. This tool is found even today in our homes and is used for purposes like grinding grains to make a spicy chutney or even to grind herbs and shrubs for the medicinal purpose. The earthen pots which we discovered were not just used for storage purposes but also for cooking food like rice, wheat, etc. etc. They began wearing clothes using different materials like cotton. I told you about this in my previous video as well that they used hand woven baskets to store grains. So you can see that all these characteristics we just talked about connect them to a well settled human having a family life unlike hunter gatherers who kept hunting, gathering and changing places all the time. But let me tell you that these changes did not happen in an instant. It took thousands of years. Also it does not mean that these changes took place equally at all the locations. Even in the Neolithic times, people at some places were still hunting and gathering or sometimes they hunted in one season and grew crops in other season. Now we are going to do a case study about Mehergad. This place is located near Bolan Pass in the Balochistan province of western Pakistan. A mountain pass is a navigable route through a mountain range. Bolan Pass is one of the two most important routes which have been used by the invaders from West Asia to invade the Indian subcontinent throughout the history. The other one is Khyber Pass in its north. As we read before as well, Mehergad is one of the earliest places where we found traces of farming and herding. We found bones of different kinds of animals here, that is wild and domestic ones both. See this picture of a house discovered in Mehergad. This shows that their houses were mostly square or rectangular in shape. They would use these four rooms for various purposes like one for living and the other one for storage of food. This picture is of a burial site from Mehergad. You can see that this picture not only contains the human skeleton but also the bones of other animals, maybe of a sheep or goat. This means people buried their relatives with food and water which shows their belief in the next lives of a human being and is also a way to pay respect to the one who is dead. With this, we have come to the end of chapter 2. If you learned something valuable and found this video helpful, then don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I will see you in the next video, that is chapter 3. Till then, take care, bye bye, Jai Hind.